Hello and welcome to Elements in Focus. My name is Aaron Rayum. I'm the Director of Financial Planning here at the Financial Enhancement Group. And I have the pleasure, as always, to do this with Grant Sullivan. Good morning, Grant. How are you, sir? Oh, man, fat and happy. And good news, losing weight, I'm equal now. So you should always say I'm a little more fat than happy, but we're doing well today. I appreciate you asking. Yeah, well, congrats on that. And uh, today uh, we're moving into talking about our five critical elements. And as Grant always opens up uh, and talk about success is never dependent on one thing, but failure can be. And so we have a process that we walk through called the five critical elements. It's part of our trademark family focus process. And today we're going to focus on legacy planning. Uh, it's a hot topic right now. And uh, just Grant, can you break down what is the difference between a will and trust? Um, and I know it's a really in-depth conversation, but just you know, some brief specifics on a will and a trust. Absolutely. And so when you're looking at a legacy plan, when you're doing good planning, our team or other teams will often ask you, do you have a will, do you have a trust? So what are they? A will is a basic, basic estate document that says, here's my property, here's what I wanna have happen, courts, and the state I live in, take care of it all. And you go through this thing called probate and your wishes get you know, levied, or levied out per the document that you have. And oftentimes wills come with direct, or durable power of attorneys, um, medical per, power of attorneys, and some other documents as well that you need to have. And so those medical directives are, hey, if I, you know, if the plug needs to be pulled, here's how I wanna have to make the decision or I'm gonna make that for them ahead of time. Verbal power of attorneys to take care of, for someone to take care of you, you can't speak or, or communicate for yourself. We've actually had a few families and individuals we've seen have that being used. So it's not as uncommon as you might think. And then when you look at a trust, it's a far more robust document. And a trust essentially is, does the same thing of a will. It says, here are my wishes, here are my desires. But it says, I'm going to appoint a person known as a trustee. Um, generally, the individual that creates a trust is the grantor and the original trustee. But they say, here's a successor trustee that's going to take care of my estate and situation if something happens to me and or I pass away. And so they lay out very clear directions of what they, have, what they want to have happen to their assets, their estate, their belongings. And it's a clear document that drives uh, the transition of wealth in a certain direction. Essentially, you're controlling your wishes for yourself when you're incompetent or when you're deceased. And the, uh, the big part is trusts don't go through probate. So you save those costs. Um, also, wills are public documents. They're public knowledge. Trusts are private. So um, even the beneficiaries of a trust, like children and grandchildren, may never know why they're getting money. They just may know that, oh, yeah, you know, Aaron, uh, he passed away and his kids and grandkids are getting money and it's actually being done through the trust. So <clears throat> two very specific documents that handle estate planning. Not everyone needs a trust. We generally see everyone needs to have a basic will in place. Um, and if you don't have one written, uh, for some states, they already have one built for you. And oftentimes, let me tell you, it's not the one you want. So spend some time, find a good attorney, find resources, get those documents together and evaluate which one best meets your situation. Well done, Grant. And if you do have questions on trying to evaluate if you need a will versus a trust or if, it, if you need either one of them, We'd be happy to answer that question for you. You can reach out to us at 800-928-4001. Uh, schedule a complimentary next steps meeting where we'll talk about things that you can benefit today. And if we decide to partner together, how FEG can help you in the future. Uh, if you're looking to dive deeper into more content, we've written a lot of articles on uh, estate planning. You can find that at yourlifeafterwork.com. And if you're looking for maybe more of a, uh, you know, verbal commentary, check us out um, on any podcast service as uh, it used to be called Consider This Program, uh, but we've rebranded that to Your Retirement Playbook. And you can also look and listen for us on the radio stations listened, or listed below. So have a great week, everyone. Thank you for listening to Grant and I. We truly appreciate it. And if you do have questions, please feel free to reach out to us.